Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Waves back from Slide Nerd. So how are you guys doing today? I'm gonna make a simple program in this video. It's gonna ask the user to enter a character and it's gonna simply display its integer value, alright? So here is the thing. The output looks like this. You say enter the character, you say A, it will print the value as 65. It's nothing great about this. If you are a beginner, then this is the video for you. If you are not a beginner, then you can probably skip this. It's too easy, too simple. So here is the thing, now you guys are probably wondering how come A is 65, right? In my typecasting video on my playlist, I had said that each character is converted into an integer and that integer is stored in binary form, right? Now you cannot store A in your computer, you have 0, 1, 1, 0 on your PC, right? Your computer can read only binary stuff. So you have to convert characters into numbers and those numbers are stored in binary and that is done with a table called a sky, alright? So now Let's go ahead and see what needs to be done in this program. So here is the thing, we give the input as a character, it can, we can either assume a value, we can ask the user, or we can take a random value, alright? And then, we simply have to convert it into an integer, and then display the integer, alright? So let's do this by both the ways, assuming the value, and asking the user. So first, I'm gonna assume the value, I'm gonna use Eclipse, and get this program done, alright? So here is, here you go, file, new, Java project, call this thing test, click finish, now right click on test, new java class, call this ch, oh let's call this character test, click finish, character test, that sounds like a retarded phenomenon to be honest with you, but never mind, so let's go ahead, uh, we'll say char ch, say 65. Nothing much, just a simple variable of type character and given it a value called A. Now, I'm gonna convert this in into an integer, right? X is CH. Now this is the point where you guys are probably wondering what the hell is going on. And as I said, your, char your characters are converted into numbers and those numbers are converted into binary and that is how they are stored in the computer, right? So you can simply convert a character into a number by right like this, int X is CH. We are saying the value of ch into x, right? So now let's print this out and see exactly how this works. System.out.println x. I'll say control s for saving. Right click on this and run a Java application, right? So as you can see over here, it's 65, capital A. Now let's put small a and see what happens. Say control s again. Right click on this. Run as Java application. It's 97, right? As you saw, the capital A and small a have different values, 65 and 97. That is why everybody in Java keeps telling you all the time that keep the case same, don't write a small h in place of capital H, your program won't run, you'll have an error, this and that. This is the reason because they have different values. You guys understood this finally? So now, let's go back to the presentation and find out how to take input from the user, right? But before that, I'll show you exactly what a character is. Let's do that. So there is something I must show you. So now, here is the thing. You have a character, this A is a character, right? You say B, it's a character. You say percentage, that's also a character. But what about strings? When you say something like this, this becomes a string, right? So to read a string, you use a buffered reader, right? Because you have so many characters, as you can see. Each character needs to be processed individually and converted, right? And that's why you have a buffered reader. But when you have a simple character, you actually don't need a buffered reader. You can simply read it using something called system.in. Now let me show you exactly why that works and how that works. So if you see, reading from the keyboard, the keyboard is like a tank, right? You keep putting data inside. That's what you do. And your program, wants to pull the data out. It's like a tap in your house which has water which is pulled out, right? So this tank has only binary data, ones and zeros. This pipe is called system.in. I've shown you this in some of the videos if you have watched it. <coughs> so you call the system.in and you have your binary pipe which is uh, the binary data which is one, zero, whatever you can say. So now what happens is you want to read this, you simply say something like this, system.in.read and that's going to read exactly one character. 
So in short, when you, whenever you say system dot end dot read, you say one, you read one character, all right. So if you want to read more than one character, you have to keep doing the system dot end dot read again and again. So now let's go back to Eclipse and find out how this works. I'll say system dot out dot print ln. I'll ask the user enter a character. And now you'll say system dot in dot read. This is going to read exactly one character, all right. If you enter ABC, it's going to read only A. That's the basic question. I mean, the basic point. So now if you put this inside integer x. Now you're probably wondering at this point, hey, why haven't you put this inside a character? The reason is this: system dot in dot read does the easy job for you. It takes the character, it converts that character into a number, and directly gives you the number, all right. So you just have to put this inside an integer. You don't need this step anymore. You simply print x, it's going to be the same thing. But now you're so like, wait a second, what is that red line you see? It shows some kind of unhandled exception type, blah, blah, blah. And you guys are probably wondering, what is this? So I need to tell you something. Whenever you're reading from the keyboard, it's just like downloading from the internet, right? When you have downloading like 50% and your internet gets disconnected suddenly, you're like, what the hell, man? The same way, when you're reading stuff, there is a chance that your keyboard or your connection can be closed, right? Like think about this, you're reading from the keyboard and your computer shuts down suddenly, what happens? So in such cases, we need to handle an error, right? So we simply write throws exception to handle the error. Now, at this point, if you're a beginner, you don't need to worry about what this means exactly. But all you need to do is this, you need to remember that you have an error if you try to read from the keyboard because it's like establishing a connection. So now you say print ln, you say control s for saving this, right click, run as, okay java application, enter the character, I'll say b, and I'll click enter, you say 66, right? Now as I said, what happens is you enter b, this b gets converted to 66 through the system.in.read function, and that 66 is given to your x. That's exactly how things work. So I hope you guys followed something in this video, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any issues, you have any problems, doubts, you can comment on my videos and let me know about that. I'm there to help you out. So have a nice day. See you guys later.